Hosea chapter 7 is a sobering chapter about Israel's love for wickedness as seen from God's perspective. As we read this chapter, we hear God's heart as he watches and sees their continual sin, its consequences, and their failure to simply turn to him for healing. God was willing to heal them from their sins and its effects, but they acted as if God did not see it. They had to treat God as he really is, a God who sees and remembers unrepentant, uncovered sin. Israel continued to try everything they could imagine to find satisfaction. The end of the chapter, verse 16 reads, they look everywhere except to the Most High. They are as useless as a crooked bow. Their leaders will be killed by their enemies because of their insolence towards me. Then the people of Egypt will laugh at them. We live among millions of people who will put their faith and trust into anything that they think can bring them healing and satisfaction in life. But God is telling us that we ought to turn to Him. God is always waiting and willing for us to turn to Him in faith. We can imagine the best life on earth, full of wealth and all the things we can desire, but it won't compare to the fullness of life that God has for us in Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean that all of our problems disappear, but it does mean that we can experience perfect peace and a right relationship with God, eternal life now and in heaven, and a current of joy and salvation that renews us day by day. But considering this chapter, let's remember what the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter four, verse 30 reads, and so not to bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he has identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. The book of Hebrews tells us that no creature is hidden from his sight. God sees it all and he cares about right living. God holds in his hand all we will ever need and he is always waiting for us to turn to him.